Okay, I got a couple more questions for you, Mr. Moore. Now, what about the, the ins and outs and all the, the good stuff that happens and all the bad stuff that happens in heat and the cooling? Because everybody see you on the commercials and everything and everything is, you know, looking all good, but behind closed doors, is it really like that? I'm glad you asked that question about the customers or whatnot. Yeah, um, I have good customers and I have bad customers. Some customers, you know, they, they, you know, give you tips or whatnot, courteous and all that good stuff, man. Um, and sometimes you get really bad customers. I mean, bad to the bone. I, I hate to say that, so, you know, um, but it's still worth it. In the end, you know, it's still worth it. You know, all your customers ain't going to be good. Um, but that can't deter you for completing the mission, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I started this business, you know, back in, you know, 16. You know, I knew it was going to be hard. I never, I, ne I didn't think it was going to be easy at all, period. I knew it was going to cost money. Uh, I had to stay updated on my tools and everything and try to get the latest stuff out so it makes the job easier or whatnot. Um, and just try to watch people that will, you know, F you over or whatnot. Meaning, you know, uh, customers that, you know, don't want to pay after the job's done or customers that will pay after the job is done and say something wrong with the unit and request the money back that's a little scheme that they do so um, you, know, you just got to be careful out there because you know some people be scheming um, it's been times that I went out to um, a job or whatnot I get there I'm respectful I'm like you know it's $50 for the service call and if I start you know um, looking at stuff and needing stuff to replace you know, it's going to cost a little bit more. It's been times that I done told the people exactly what's wrong with their unit. And, you know, I'm like, do you want to fix? And they say yes. Then when I fix it, they be like, oh, well, I didn't really want it fixed. But, you know, how much does it cost since you put that on there? And I tell them the price, well, oh, that's too much. That's too much. You know, um, but I specifically told them that you need these parts and I got them on the, the van and I can get this fixed. Do you want to fix it? They say yes. But, you know, as soon as I come up with the price or whatnot, they like, oh, well, that's too much. And you end up having to take your parts off of the furnace or the AC or whatnot and allow them to get it fixed somewhere else. Yeah, you know, um, it's crazy, you know little things it's always the little things there's been times that i've been called out uh, i guess they had a backup or whatnot and they uh tore the whole basement floor out so it was like urine everywhere and feces everywhere or whatnot and the strong was so, the, the 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 smell was so strong that you couldn't even walk in the basement but they didn't tell me none of that stuff over the phone uh, so when i get there i still do the job but I told them that, you know, your furnace might stop working again because you got so much humidity down here from your um, water backing up or whatnot. It's a lot of moisture down here in your basement. It's going to get right back on the flame sensor and mess it up. And as soon as I get it fixed, the next day they call back. And I'm like, you know, you need to, um, what I told them is you need to fix the problem down there first and get the moisture out, like with a dehumidifier or whatnot. And clean up all that mess because I had to walk on the beams that they left down there in the basement uh, where they had the floor built just so I won't step into the feces. And then when <laughs> and then the last beam, the furnaces over there, I had to jump because it was still water over there. You know what I'm saying? And then they she they they was like you know complaining and talking about no heating and cooling company want to come down there and do work for them. And I saw why, you know, you got to be up front with people when you um, invite them out. Like if you got a crawl space, please let us know because we don't do crawl spaces. But every once in a while we will. If I can stand up in it, I'll do it. But if I had to crawl, I can't do it. You know, that's, I leave that up to the other companies or whatnot. Does that answer your, uh, does that, uh, answer your question or whatnot?